artists out there. Miss Fortenberry is back and I am so excited to show you our new art lesson for the week. So we are going to draw an adorable little tiger that's in the jungle. So uh, when you draw this tiger, I need you to draw it on a small paper. Usually I say bigger the better for our art, right? Well, this week it is for a, spe this project is for a special reason. We are doing it for our Art to Remember fundraiser, okay? And really awesome, you can buy really cool products with your artwork on it, if you want to. Um, but this is an assignment. It needs to be on an eight, preferably on an eight by 10, good quality paper. If all you have is printer paper, that will work too. I give you some options, some uh, supply choices to use what you have at home. And hopefully you have just as much fun with your art as I did with mine. Okay, we are going to draw this cute little tiger. So this is my finished piece and I'm gonna show you how to do this one. So the first thing you wanna do is start with the head. Draw a U shape in the middle of your paper. And I always sketch light till I get it right. That way if I mess up, I can erase. And then you're gonna draw your little ears. Give it a semicircle, or actually it's like a almost a full circle. Connect the top of the head, and then draw the nose. We have a triangle a little bit below. And then the, the pupil. center of the head. You have your triangle shape. Draw a line at the bottom of the nose and the center straight down. And then come up here on the sides of the, the nose and you're gonna do a curved line all the way to the bottom. Curve line all the way to the bottom of the head. Try to make them about the same size. And then you are going to draw the bridge of the nose. So on the edge of the nose, you're gonna draw a line from here to here. Edge of the nose, draw a line up. A little bit wider at the bottom than the top. And his cute little eyes. So I'm gonna draw, you can do the eyes round with a little dot of white in the middle or at the top on it, or you can make them shaped like an almond. So it's curve line at the top, curve line at the bottom so that they come to a little point. I like to extend that out a little bit. And then two curve lines here. And you wanna make them even, so straight over Curve line at the top, curve line at the bottom, and the eyes, the inside, the iris, and bring it down. Okay, so you have two different types of eyes that you can choose from. And now we have the inside of the ears, so you want to do like a little circle on the inside. Now we need to draw the whiskers. I drew the whiskers on the outside of the head. That looks super cute. Another option is you can draw the whiskers inside on the cheeks. Just three little whiskers. And then you need to draw the stripes. So the stripes look like little, you're gonna draw little triangles on each side of the head. Now you are ready to draw the body. I'm gonna draw the front legs and his chest. So one line coming down, same, go to the next side, one line coming down, draw the bottom of his feet. You wanna make them about, try to make them as symmetrical as possible. So that means the same on each side. You want each leg to be the same size. And then the line for his chest. And now you need to draw his back leg. You can only see part of his back leg because he's facing us, right? So coming here, at the bottom of the head, going down and stop. You want it shorter than the front because it's farther away. And now we can add that cute little wavy tail. So I'm gonna draw a wavy line going up. It's almost like an S, right? And then I don't wanna make it too skinny. So I'm gonna come down a little bit and then I'm gonna follow the same line. I'm gonna draw a parallel line right next to it and then shoop, connect it. Now we are ready for the rest of the stripe. So the tails, the end of the tail will be black. And then we're gonna draw some lines on it. 
and we're gonna color those in with the Sharpie and make them thick stripes. And then we have three or two, depending on how big you make it, three or two triangles on each side. And then I'm gonna do just one here. Now we need to outline with Sharpie. So I'm going to outline everything carefully with my Sharpie. Now, when I go to use my Sharpie to do the triangles and the whiskers and the stripes, I'm gonna color them in nice and carefully. So my whiskers, I actually am gonna make them a little bit thicker. So a double outline for my whiskers. And then the inside of my triangles, I'm going to color in very carefully so I don't get out of the lines. So do you see how I'm making my lines a little thicker than my pencil lines? These are just, the pencil lines are just guides for me to show me where to do my thick stripes. You, you want them just a little bit thicker than your pencil line. Not too thick though. And then color in the entire tip of my towel. Okay, and if you look closely, you can still see a lot of pencil lines left over. So I need to clean up my paper. So I'm going to clean up my paper and erase all those extra pencil lines and get rid of all those pencil lines. Now you're ready to color. So um, this guy, I did orange with a little yellow nose and mouth and some pink ears and a pink nose. Um, you decide how you want it. I would stick with the yellow and, or the orange for the body. I'm gonna change this one up and I am gonna do a yellow body. And notice when I'm coloring, I'm coloring with the side of my marker, not just the tippy tip, because that would take a long time with those thin lines to color the with the tippy tip. And I'm staying inside the line, so I'm put, creating a little border or a little fence, kind of a protective barrier before I start coloring back and forth. And I'm going slowly in one direction. For my ears, I'm gonna use a darker pink. It's almost like a red, it's raspberry. For my nose, I'm gonna make it black and leave a little shine mark. And I'm gonna use gray for the mouth and the bridge of the nose. So you decide how you wanna color your tiger. My favorite is the orange, but the yellow looks pretty cute too. And because you can see the tiger's irises, I'm going to give it turquoise eyes. So now you need to get your crayons to do the background, to draw the jungle and the night sky. So I am going to draw the grass. I have two different shades of green, dark and light, to create value. And I am going to draw the grass, so a bunch of zigzag lines. Draw some tall grass. Come in with my darker green and do the same thing. All of my grass is going in one direction, up and down. I'm not going side to side. Okay, so now we're ready to draw the moon. So I'm gonna use a gray. You decide if you wanna use gray or yellow. And I'm gonna draw my crescent moon in the sky with my crayon. You can do a full moon or a crescent moon. And I'm gonna shade it in with my gray and go over it with my yellow. Now with your darker green, if you have two different shades of green, use your darker green to draw your big jungle leaves with. So you can do zigzag leaves or you can do smooth leaves, it's up to you. I'm gonna draw a line for the center of the leaf, a curved line and a curved line, and then some lines coming out of the center. Those are the veins. And then you just color it in with a light green. 
and continue adding green leaves all in the background. And now you need to get your white and your yellow crayon and make little dots in the sky for your stars. Now that everything's colored, you are ready to do the sky. You may use either the purple watercolor paint, the blue watercolor paint, or the black watercolor paint. I use purple watercolor paint on this one. If you don't have watercolor paint, you can use a marker. So I'm gonna show you the marker on this one. I like the purple for a night sky, but you can use blue, black, gray, you decide. So I'm gonna color in, I wanna go around my moon and around, trace around everything else. You try to go really carefully around your tiger. And just color right over your stars. Now I'm gonna treat it like watercolor paint. So you're gonna take a wet brush and just paint right over the marker. You can do the same on the grass. So I'm just gonna color over the grass with my marker and paint over it with water. And there we have our nighttime tiger in the jungle.